Pipe blowing is the removal of construction debris, weld slag, sand, oil, dust, rust, and mill scale from piping systems prior to system startup at the receiving building. The piping is blown to the atmosphere using the force of boiler pressure to create enough energy in the pipeline to remove all the impurities and solids lingering inside the pipe. The inspection process is actually pretty cool. It involves a large piece of brass commonly known as a target. Placed near the steam's exit point, the target will detect and show tradespeople if particles in the emerging steam remain. If that's the case, we'll go another round until the target comes out clean. Prior to performing a pipe blowing or boiler blowdown, you need to consider the steam pressure and temperature to determine how to safely handle these conditions. A 100 psi steam system can produce a noise level in excess of 150 decibels, which is right up there with the volume of a jet taking off. The exiting steam will have a temperature exceeding 330 degrees. To reduce these safety concerns, a muffler or a silencer is used for noise reduction. The steam discharge should be placed vertically to blast directly into the atmosphere. It should also be far enough away from buildings and people to allow the temperature of the steam discharge to rapidly cool. Most universities, for example, use steam plants to provide energy to heat their many buildings through underground piping systems. As schools expand, so do the steam system demands. More underground piping or more boilers are installed to meet the increased heating demand. When this happens, systems need to be cleaned prior to turning steam on to the new areas. The first thing you'll do when performing a pipe blowing is open the exit valve. This is a safety precaution, giving the operator control in the event of a pipe bursting. Once steam pressure hits a certain low level at the plant, they radio to tell the ground team to close the valve. Additional boilers are brought online at the plant to supplement the steam purge. This keeps the buildings relying on the steam plant from being affected. The rate of blowdown is controlled by a valve between the boiler and the exit piping. With the steam forcing its way into the atmosphere, you should be able to visibly see scum, mud, and gunk blasting from the piping like a volcanic eruption. Once the pipe blowing is complete, you'll close down the valves in the reverse order in which you open them. 330 degree steam blowing through 6 inch pipe at 100 psi makes a soft metal like brass pretty warm. However, it also allows for tradespeople to conduct an accurate examination of the cleanliness of the system. If there's still sediment on the brass, another pipe blowing will be required. Once that brass looks shiny and new, we know we've got ourselves a guaranteed clean pipeline. Cleaning hundreds and thousands of feet worth of piping in just a few minutes via the pipe blowing process is a pretty cool feat of engineering. The procedure is a hazardous one, but something which can be done safely and effectively. A boiler blowdown is a similar process to what we've just discussed, and ultimately, a pretty cool day on the job.